So I got one of these, uh, the Heeltech exhaust servo, servo eliminator. Um, it's not an exhaust servo eliminator. It's a servo simulator. It lies to the computer and says, everything's fine. Nothing's been removed, like an O2 sim. So uh, anyway, I'm gonna put this in after I take a bunch of stuff out. Start with this. Seat removal. Now I know there's a way to do this quick uh, by lifting the tank. And, but I'm gonna remove the seat, the tank. Um, I want full visibility and lots of available space. All right. See. I'm going to take battery out. 10 millimeter. We're going to let this computer clear itself. So when we put this back together, it rebuilds. I've had good luck with that so far. I believe in refreshing the data. You wanna, you don't wanna build your fuel um, long-term, short-term data on uh, on a, at least data that was built on uh, other mods or at least a different configuration. Fiber. Lift and separate. Ten millimeter. No scratchy tank. Keep ratchets away from painted surfaces as much as possible. Dead comes out. Okay. I want this declipped. There we go. A little bit of fuel drippage, but not much. I mean, one of the nicest things about this bike is. It has a valve, apparently, and the fuel just doesn't come running out of the tank. I mean, that's pretty awesome. All right, so you're detached, clip. Okay. And we got these two slip-ons. One. Okay, tank should come off. Tank came off. I'm gonna put you over here. <clears throat> Something might fall on it. I'm gonna put it somewhere else. We're just gonna put it over here. Soft clown clothes and costumes. All right. Where's that thing in Badoodly at? Oh, it's right there. I see. So this must be the clip. That's it. OK. 
Okay, tens, I guess. The winner. How do we get that one? Swivel head? I don't want you taking this off. I get the feeling. There's a little access air hole there. <laughs> That's really small. Look at that. That's just enough. <laughs> Massively tedious, huh? It is coming off though. Probably a couple of better ways to do this, but it would require more disassembly. And I think that would take too much time for the benefit. <clears throat> Definitely be less tedious to take the screw out, but it's coming. Really close. Wow, that it is not acting like a screw that's... No, there she goes. All right. Wait. All parts. Here goes a piece. It's the spacer. Space would be stuck rattling in my bike forever. All right, so that thing's able to come off completely. Now let's turn our sights to <coughs> this doodad. It looks like we're, wow, this bike's pretty simple. 10 millimeters and a tri wrench. Smart design. All right. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. Oop. Microphone's still working. All right, this is the cover. This is exciting. Anytime you potentially make your bike more fun to ride, sound better, go a little quicker. It's exciting. I never even looked at this thing before. So there it is. Now it's just a matter of loosening these, I think. You know what? Do I not? Mm, can I take them out without loosening? That's the question. Yeah, look at that. It's just a little slot right there. Now we gotta loosen. The only reason I wanna... Uh, I don't wanna throw this thing out of adjustment. So maybe if I leave the top nut alone, I'll be okay. So I have to put it back on. I wanna just put it back exactly the way it was. Adjusting these. Uh, I don't think is a good idea. I don't want to move those. All right. Out. And out. All right, technically, this should be wide open. Closed, open. That's what everybody tells me. All right, I'm gonna leave everything and take you off. You know, I don't even care, other than it's ugly.
I mean, the exhaust goes. This is an ugly exhaust. Can you see what I'm doing here? I hope so. Is that just a stud? <laughs> yes, it is. All right, I'm going to put this nut back on here at least. We'll take the bracket off, put the nut on, and put the cover back on because that's ugly. I'm not just going to have some weird looking stud sticking out. Yeah, see, that's, that's better looking. <laughs> okay, we'll wait. Oh, it was on there? I didn't realize there were acorns. Yep. I just thought that was the head of the bolt sticking through. All right. Technically, servos disconnected. There's nothing keeping this closed. It's wide open for exhaust to flow. The deal now is to pull these through and let's see if this whole thing comes out. I don't want to take it apart if I don't have to. <laughs> Do I have to is the question. I don't know. I don't know. I can't see it so it's difficult to determine. <clears throat> Let's take this off. I don't know if you can see it better than I can. Oh yeah. Does that come apart? This clip looks like it comes apart. It's got hoses. So. Oh, it's a, I don't know if you can see that. It's a, a like a ratchet style crimped uh, boy that should release with a screwdriver let's give it a try this should do it that did it i know you can't see that but I just barely touched it and it looks like it released. I just had to pull the ratchet side back. So, yeah, these are flapping in the wind now. See, before the steel was too thick to escape. I should be able to pull it out now. Sorry about the camera. It fell off my head. So hopefully my camera's aligned. Um, There's the wire. Wow, this thing's pretty well encased. We have another loom. Come on, guys. I'm just kind of feeding it out. Don't scratch anything. Just give up peacefully. There's cable. Don't scratch my swing arm. Oh, we have another clip. And now that I have a better idea how these work, maybe I can reach it with my fingers. Got it. There's one cable. Two. That's it, kids. Servo cable stuff. Servo cable stuff. That requires a picture. Mm-hmm. All right, so That's it. 
hardest part was that clip. And now the tubes are still in the clip. I just push the clip back together. Tubes are collected. All right, the other clip done. All right. So everything is exactly as it was. Except the servo's out. Exhaust covers back on. Here's the little servo, servo simulator. Right? That's it. This will now begin lying. I'll just attach it right here, huh? Now we zip tie it. I just don't want to pull on those wires. Have it come apart. I think that is a perfect solution right there. Okay. Okay, let's just go get our tank and put it back together. See if it runs. And we'll get to test ride it tomorrow for work. Back bolts first, then we'll lift up the tank with our special tank lifting wood. Yeah. Then uh, attach all the hoses and the wire clip. All done. Oh, plus the aesthetic stuff. The cover, the clamp. And we'll drop the battery back in and give it a start. Do up here. A little more light never hurts. Okay, so I need my chunk of wood. Reattach gas tank stuff on the bottom. There it goes. Okay. Now these hoses are nice. They're two different sizes. So you can't put them on the wrong spot. I think that's a nice touch. They just reside peacefully underneath that little flex clamp. Attached. Attached. That was it. All right. Always like to double check. Let's lower everything back down. Don't forget that it's designated front right line up your bar and if you forget that you're not going to be able to put this face plate on
find. The screwdriver is better to get these started with. <clears throat> All right. And seat. Well, hopefully I did everything right. I have to tear it back down again. Hopefully something's not whistling. Or some hose was left off. If I forgot something, I'm gonna fix it, but I'm not gonna put it in this video. <laughs> the beauty of editing. Um, as far as you know, everything went fine. Got my rep to protect. Idle sounds a little throatier, but oh. The bird sized bug just flew in. I didn't want to attract all the bugs. There's no lights on. It's a little throatier, but it's not that big of a difference. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Oops, is it really? Hey, cool. That was pretty quick. Test ride tomorrow. Good night.